Hello and welcome to a new episode. Uh, in this episode, we are going to look at a very common problem that most uh, people uh, encounter with Kubernetes. That's the IP exhaustion issue, right? Uh, why does this happen, right? So typically you have your pods and your nodes getting their IP addresses allocated from your primary CIDR pool or your primary CIDR block rather. So as you scale out your deployments, what happens is that you run out of IPs. So your parts are not going to launch because there are no more IPs to be allocated, right? So in this episode, we are going to look at a strategy that you can use wherein a carrier class NAT is used to create a secondary CIDR. And uh, a, the CNI plugin is instrumented to use this secondary CIDR the CNI plugin, uh, as in the uh, EKS uh, CNI add-on for Kubernetes, right? So uh, the CNI plugin is instrumented to leverage the secondary CIDR block and use that to allocate uh, pod IPs. So while your nodes are still drawing or basically getting allocated primary addressable, you know, IP uh, IP ranges, your pods are getting. Uh, uh, IP addresses allocated from your secondary uh, uh, ciders, right? So, and the CNI plugin takes care of all the networking and everything, right? So, this is a great strategy if you want to overcome uh, the IP exhaustion issue or at least uh, address it. Uh, typically, in large organizations, you will see that you you don't get allocated a huge uh, cider block for uh, IPv4 you probably will be lucky to get a slash 22 or a slash 24 CIDR block, which will limit your IPs to around 250, right? So that's not adequate enough for, uh, you know, large deployments of Kubernetes. So you are invariably going to run out of IPs at some point. So using this strategy that we are going to discuss, uh, uh, and, we are, uh, and this is going to be followed by a demo as well, you can actually kind of, you know, use uh, up to 65,000 IPs that you can use to allocate uh, your, uh, ex exclusively for your parts. So your parts are exclusively going to use, uh, you know, this secondary CIDR block, uh, while your nodes are still going to use the primary CIDR block, right? So so let's get started. I hope uh, uh, you, you're going to find this, uh, you know, uh, video very useful. Okay, so let's get started with a demo. So a Kubernetes uh, cluster has been created uh, for the sake of this demo. So this is a simple cluster. Uh, it's a two node uh, EKS cluster. And uh, the VPC that I have set is uh, very limited in the sense that it has very few, uh, very restricted CIDR so that we can simulate uh, the problem. So let's look at the VPC. So this is the VPC. Uh, it's a slash 26 and it has four siders. Uh, that's a slash 28 each. So that's around 14 IPs per subnet. So since some IPs have been taken over by the nodes and uh, some have been taken over by the management. Uh, uh, so you still, you just have just a few IPs remaining. So the idea is to uh, be able to simulate the problem. So let's uh, deploy something into this EKS cluster. So let's say we will deploy a, a small uh, application. So le uh, let us go to a demo. So this is a BusyBox uh, demo. So it uh, deploys 10 replicas of a BusyBox uh, container. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, deploy it. Okay, so let's uh, look at uh, uh, here, it went into the default namespace and as you can see, there are 10, uh, uh, let's say deploy, let's uh, look at deployment. Okay, so BusyBox demo has been deployed. So if you look at this, it has 10 uh, different parts that we kind of set uh, uh, that we wanted to deploy. So it deployed all the 10 parts. Now, <coughs> uh, I already showed you that we have very uh, few IPs. So let's do 
uh, something to simulate the problem, right? So let's uh, scale up uh, the deployment by two additional parts. So let's uh, say we want to do 12. So once we do 12, let's see what happens. So when you go look at this particular containers that are starting up, uh, just looking at the logs for these containers will tell you what the problem is. So it says that it's not able to assign an IP, right? So now to fix this problem, what we're going to do is, um, so let's uh, uh, roll it back to um, 10 and uh, just uh, see what happens. So it is, it's able to allocate 10. So now what we are going to do is we are going to deploy a secondary uh, CIDR in the same v VPC, which is a slash 16 CIDR that, that makes around 65,000 IPs available. And then we are going to deploy this secondary CIDR with a specific tag. So let me show you the code. I, I have the Terraform code for that. So this is the, uh, these are the ciders that uh, these are the subnets that we are going to create. So let me uncomment this. Okay, so you need to put this tag in. So Kubernetes IO role CNI equal to one. So what this is going to tell when the subnet is created with this particular tag, it will tell the CNI plugin that's installed on the EKS cluster, right? That there is a subnet that's available that can be used for pod IPs. So here, what we are doing is we are using uh, this, uh, you know, uh, 10164, uh, you know, uh, 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 IP address block, uh, as opposed to the main primary CIDR block, which is 10102, uh, right? So this is your CIDR, this is your secondary CIDR over here, okay? So what we are gonna do is we'll deploy this code and we'll enable the secondary CIDR and uh, let's uh, do that and uh, see what happens. So let's go back. Okay, if I to add, uh, so Now, while this is happening, let's go back here. Uh, let's look at the IP addresses here. You see the IP addresses allocated are all from the primary uh, CIDR, okay? So let's see what happened. Okay, so something happened. So anyway, uh, I ran it again and so it worked. So let's uh, look at, uh, Let's now scale uh, scale this uh, deployment. So uh, last time we did two, uh, it failed. So let's uh, try to scale it by a additional two, see what happens. So let's see, boom. As you can see, it was able to allocate IPs and you see the new parts over here, they are from the secondary CIDR, okay? So now let's, we can still bump it up and say, we'll scale it to say uh, 15, should be still fine. So I'm using really a uh, very small node. So I'm not, uh, I mean, I, I could bump up uh, by a lot, but the poor, uh, the node doesn't have the kind of pod density that I need. So I, now I'm able to get uh, an even spread wherein I have primary cider being used here and then I have the secondary CIDR being uh, used. So any new pod that's coming up is going to you know, leverage the secondary CIDR and allocate uh, IPs from that secondary CIDR. So I hope uh, this was useful. Uh, this is a great strategy if you want to kind of you know, address the problem of IP exhaustion and uh, you know, uh, conserve IPs on the primary CIDR uh, block. That way your pods are able to scale from uh, using your secondary CIDR and uh, the CNI plugin, uh, all the CNI plugin needs is this particular tag over here to make it work. So this is the tag that's required for you to make it work, this one. 
this does a lot of magic in the background wherein it uh, once it detects this tag it does all the kind of you know custom resource deployments and everything that's needed to make the networking work and draw or uh, allocate ips from the secondary cyber pool right so i hope you enjoyed uh, this video uh, and uh, please like and share uh, uh, if you think it's useful thank you so much